Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic. I'm obsessed with fiction. And I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stanley did. For this video, I'm going to introduce one species and two heroes. And I hope you guys would uh, enjoy this video as far as I can figure out for you guys, you know? Here's the first thing, the creature. Mega Mermians. Real name, buried. Length, 80 feet. Weight, 12 tons. Status, villain. And residence of Africana. Base, Blood Bay, Africana. Intelligence, 3 brains to 5 brains. Behavior. Mean, bloodthirsty, and relentless. They'll do anything to feast on any meat that they could find. Lethality. Extremely dangerous to most of their targets. Weaknesses. Stab wounds and being dwarfed. Powers. They have great size and strength, are fast swimmers, possess sharp claws and teeth, and have an acute sense of smell. They also have gills and lungs to breathe above and below water. Eyes and hair varied. Origin. One time, a group of mermians made the deadly mistake of traveling to Africana, and when they arrived at its shore, the native spell mutated them as massive and bloodthirsty, developing the primal urge to eat anything in sight. However, after a few months of residing there, Queen Conga arrived at the beaches to find some food, and thus the Mega Mermians realized their first problem. Though they enjoy eating meat from around the coast of the island, Blood Bay, they would stay far from the shore in order to keep themselves from be getting devoured by Queen Conga and the like. Costume They wear nothing for boys and latex tops for girls. Teams, solitary, or in small groups. Original inspiration, Merfolk. This is the next character I'm going to introduce. And these two characters I'm going to introduce is... They're both affiliated with the same team, just so you know. Chip. Real name, Sandra Forrest. Height, 5 feet 9 inches. Weight, 142 pounds. Status, hero, and animal league leader. Base, New York City, mobile. Intelligence, 3 brains. Behavior. Witty yet hyper. She recently enjoys her qualities in life. Lethality. Extremely dangerous. She's a good example that squirrels are far more superior than most life on the two Earths. Weaknesses. Insomnia, which makes her the deadliest. Powers. She has long claws on her hands and feet. High agility. Can climb on flat surfaces. Martial arts. Great speed. And has a set of skin flaps that enable flight. She also possesses heat vision. Eyes. Silverish green. Hair. Brown and short. Origin. Sandra Forrest was a high school graduate who just wanted to matter to other people. On her last week of her senior year, she made a formula that would that could give her better attributes. During the ceremony, Sandra didn't realize that she grew a series of claws on her hands and feet and sprouted a large squirrel tail. When she did, she was horrified at first, but after she left the ceremony, she successfully stopped a gang fight downtown. Since then, the newly named Chip was marked as a hero and soon founded and led the heroic team, the Animal League, where all the members are human-animal hybrids. Costume. She normally dresses in casual wear. Teams. Solitary with the Animal League or other heroes. Words of inspiration. Squirrels. This is the last one that I'm going to introduce in this video, just so you know. Frog. Real name, Rebecca Freeman. Height, 5 feet 8 and a half inches. Weight, 141 pounds. Status, hero, and Animal League member. Base, New York City, mobile. Intelligence, 3 brains. Behavior, cheerful and hyper. She just wants to be appreciated. Lethality, usually during a fight. Weaknesses, lack of moisture. Powers, she has a long prehensile tongue webbed hands and feet, high agility, martial arts, and can climb on flat surfaces. She could also breathe underwater for extended periods. Eyes, 
bright green, hair deep black and short. Origin Rebecca Freeman was an average teen who wanted to be an Olympic gymnast. One time, she got a plasma injection in order to increase her athletic ability. However, there was an overdose that made her develop frog-like attributes. Eventually, Rebecca teamed up with Chip in a fight against the puppeteer Marionette and the space tyrant Dorella Victors, and after a while were able to stop them. Now given the codename Frog, Rebecca was invited by Chip to become a member of the Animal League, and Frog would since do anything to make things work for others. Costume. She wears a green latex suit with the capital F on it. Teams. Solitary with the Animal League or other heroes. One's inspiration, frogs. Well, those are the three things I'm going to introduce to you guys for this video. Um, just so you guys know, I still feel a bit worried about whether or not um, my previous video that I made before this one I still feel a bit paranoid on whether or not the intro music was copyrighted, and I just really hope that I make this work. And I also apologize if anyone was offended by my ranting about Disney and such. Because, one thing, I've known a YouTuber named Callie who had a beauty um, channel about makeup stuff, like at-home makeup. She was so desperate to make things work that she tried a chemical peel for the first time and she ended up losing her sponsorship when she was in the middle of it and after everything she had a total subscriber account of eight. Just eight. I feel sorry for her that she ended up losing all of her chances of success. And I also hope that I don't end up with that very fate. You know? I am sorry if I made some inconsistencies with the previous video. If I knew it was copyrighted, then I would avoid it. You know? How was I supposed to know? I hope you guys understand. And if you guys want, you can like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. It's all on you. Hope you guys have a fine Thanksgiving and such, and until next time, in transmission.